Here he is, a champion twice over. Wow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 285 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Brutus Creed. Right now, he has never been more confident nor more proud. This is an accomplishment on a different level. Well, just think of the road he traveled and what he endured to be here tonight, holding two championships. Well, it has to be recognized that right now, we are witnessing dominance on another level. Standing tall with both of his titles, he's not planning to let go of either one of them anytime soon. The Lion is ready to unleash another display of pure dominance. Now he is sat beneath the learning tree of the modern day Maharaja, and he is ready to show what he's learned. And his opponent, representing Indus Sher from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds. Fear Mahan! Man, Veer's looking angry tonight, like he's ready to punish the competition. Yeah, punishment seems to be the only thing on his mind. Veer Mahan, the so-called lion of WWE, will kick things off here tonight. What's to say about Veer that he isn't going to show you himself? The man's a ball of fire, and frankly, there isn't much he loves more than striking fear into the hearts of his opponent. The only question is, who has the courage to stop him? Truly a rising power player here in the landscape of WWE. Then we've got Brutus Creed, a bruiser with a ton of technical know-how. Brutus is always ready to pulverize his opponents. And it's not just brute strength either. Brutus does the prep work. He studies tape. He's always as prepared mentally as he is physically. Just ruthless. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Some trouble. You're not going to find Veer show any remorse. Just cranking the head. Brutus Creed is a true hothead. How do you counter aggression like this? Without his brother to reel him in, Brutus is as wild as they come. Get him to tire himself out, then press the advantage. Do not go to him, but get him to empty his tanker. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh, 
look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. And Mahan is taking control. Smart strategy against the wild Brutus. Trying to tire him out and empty his tank as soon as possible. He moves just in time. Goes. Good touch. Nasty. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, the elbow connects. And the lion looked more like a house cat there, guys. Hard hitting damage from Creed. From the top, Black's handle. He is looking to do some serious harm. And this one might be headed ringside. The cover. Getting the shoulder up before two. Showing his determination there with that kick out. show on Creed's face. Looks like Brutus. What's he planning to do here? Roll him on his belly. Single leg crab. Really working that. After everything these two men have been through, a will. He's got to relieve the pressure. And escapes. Oh, body block. finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Yeah, but he needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Mahan with the reversal. And Mahan was ready for that. And Mahan is taking control. You're not going to find Veer showing any remorse. Some newly determined focus. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. Caught with a punch. And Creed gets warded off. A counter answered by another counter. Reverse. These two trading one blow after another. Oh, look out. It's on now. Mahan may be thinking high risk. From way up. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. The Lion beginning his feast. Cervical clutch applied. Oh no, this is not where he wants. Look at this, he let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Does he have him here? Get out before the count. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Placed into the corner. Boom! Right to the midsection. Ouch! That's one way to get 
get your opponent out of the corner. Finds the room to land a back elbow. One for the 10th Street Slam. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Crank in the head. Mahan showing no answer for this attack. Yeah, Beer keeps getting cut down. And Mahan caught by another impactful attack there. Brutus has done a great job to stay alive, but has to think about ending matters quickly. Sight set on the top rope. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Here we go. Brutus ball. No way Veer recovers from that. Makes a cover. Wow, he's going to celebrate. Seen right after this loss. Brutus Creed put his power and talent to work here, and it sure paid off. in the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Pretty cool fact here, Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. One of the top names in women's independent wrestling, Zoe Stark. Now looking to prove herself in WWE. from Las Vegas, Nevada, Zoe Stark! I love Zoe Stark's energy and love of competition. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but she has proven it by capturing the NXT Women's Tag Team titles. undeniable well it's time to prove it i have every bit of confidence that she will there's the mail and here we go with zoe stark this woman is an incredible athlete whose blend of ruthlessness and mercilessness is deeply concerning stark is void of all remorse for others she's here to hurt people and step on them in her ascent to the top what's not to like the more her opponents are incapacitated, the more vicious Zoe Stark becomes. Every woman in WWE should consider themselves on notice. And indie wrestling is more than ready to throw down. Ready to have some respect put on her name. Ready to push her own limits. And ready to go. Being carried around with ease. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Perched up top. She can end it here. And she kicks it at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. 
As far as well-rounded superstars go, Indy Hartwell might be the benchmark, Corey. She has the size, the speed, the charisma. She has all that, but she's far too easily distracted by outside factors. While there's no denying Hartwell's many skills, we've seen how easily she can lose focus, and that's what might cost her. And body draw! You see the height on that? Bionic elbow driven down. An impressive sequence from Zoe. Indy Hartwell losing a bit of her focus there, and it cost her. She needs to concentrate on the here and now. Goodness gracious. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Just a barrage of stops. And Zagiri finds its mark. Zoe climbs what's from the top. And she doesn't connect. Laying it in. Running knee. Oh, come on. Get back in the ring and fight. Oh, maybe she wants to take the fight outside. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. Measured knee drop. To the kidneys. Golly. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. She has her target weighed and measured. Whoa. Springboard! Springboard crossbody. Throwing all caution to the wind and leaping to the outside. Whoa! Indy denies the attack. Thrown back in under the ropes. Traps the arm into the hammerlock. Hammerlock DDT. And into the count. Two. No, shoulders up at two. She's still as determined as ever. Zoe wobbling, looking vulnerable. No oh, square shot with the back elbows ends that. Finds a counter from Stark. She manages to get control. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Looking to crush the hamstring. Oh. Another one? Ooh. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. She might be in some trouble now. Hartwell there proving she's still a force to be reckoned with in this one. Well, not the hair. Anything but the hair. Win at any cost. Stark can't stop this string of offense. Indy Hartwell is holding nothing back. Right to the spine. And now Zoe is playing to the... No. Suicide dive. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Counter from Stark. Gonna torture their opponent. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Oh man! These women have gone to all-out war in this match. I don't see how they have anything left to give here. <laughs> oh, big boot! Competitors dig.
digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop for added measure. This match may be nearing its limit. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right What a shot. This superstar making an incredible comeback. Snapping deep into the energy reserve. Still in the fight. Oh, man. Kick to the face. In the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. Look at the high frog splash! Stark showing just what it means to be a powerhouse. If Joey Stark got it. Here is your winner! Zoe Stark! Zoe Stark wins this one. Zoe Stark just powered her way through the opposition. All of her training paying off big. Ladies and gentlemen, mommy's home. Here comes Rhea Ripley. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia. The WWE Women's World Champion, Messing with Rhea Ripley is just plain dangerous. Her power, her intensity, and her complete lack of remorse makes her a one-of-a-kind threat. What's really scary is it seems like Rhea is only getting stronger, more lethal. She's deadlier today than she was even just yesterday. Beating the EST might just make you the new EST. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. I know she's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing, she's only gonna get better. You're right, Cole, it's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself. This is completely uncalled for, but completely validated, Cole. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push the referee so far, Corey. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Great counter. Oof. Shoulder tackle. Bianca Belair may call herself the EST of WWE, but I've got a strong feeling this matchup is going to come down to who wants it more, so who can be the biggest aggressor here. You have a point, Corey, and it's possible that it just might be Belair's opponent tonight. Uh-oh. One step ahead of Bianca there. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. What power. Sit down. 
What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. And Belair reverses it. Up handle applied. Boom! Oh, gut buster! Plenty of hits coming her way now. Yeah, and that could be a building block for Belair to build upon. had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Ripley uncorking a clothesline. And another. Ripcord position. Pow! Drop kick. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. That got bad real quick. Arm trapped. Ooh. Endless knee strikes. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Oh, flapjack. A quick finish. Can she do it? Made it out of two. Have to put in a little more work than that. for that. And back into the ring she goes. Bianca Belair taking a page out of the Hall of Famer Beth Phoenix's book. Can she do it here? She kicks out with authority after two. No celebrations yet. The EST powering up her opponent. Coyote, the kiss of death. Does that finish Ripley for good? This has got to be one of the most knocked out, drag out progressions of a rivalry we've ever witnessed. Yeah, Byron, it's hard to recall the last time we saw something with this level of animosity take place. Snapping the neck. Look at this. Boom. Nice. And Rhea feeling the brunt of yet another attack there. Yeah, as Belair is clearly working hard to soften her up. Going way up high. From the top. Elbow drop. Ripley in a surprising bit of danger. Bianca's doing a good job staying attached to the competition. Oh, take it down. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Face first off the knee. Lives to fight another day. Re-entering the ring now. Let's look at the power of Rhea Ripley. Oh, devastating face buster. Ripley lined up Belair just perfectly there. This could do it. That is just pure instinct at this point. Punched to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Telegraph that one and Rhea Ripley with the win, with the riptide. Wow, Ripley got her. Try to end it. The referee clearly noticed she was on the ropes. Taking it to the shoulder. Rhea, top turnbuckle. Cover! There's two! Kick out. She still has life. 
She just won't stay down. Out of the way in time. She bails in a hurry. And now she's getting back into the ring. Ah, oh, had that well. Oh, we know what's coming up next. Ripley's got her hook for Riptide. Bad spot for Belair. Two. And a big victory here tonight. tough battle between both competitors and a hard-fought victory for Rhea Ripley. Bianca Belair may be the EST, but today the better and best woman was simply Rhea. Oh, look at this! Cheap shot! But she never saw it coming. Completely ambushed by this superstar. And guys, there is no way she's going to be able to compete now. Well, the referee going to ask her if she's ready to go, and it's, I can't it's... believe that we're going to go forward with this match. No this way. Is nuts. This is nuts. Hey, the attacker's got to be scared. I mean, ambushing them from behind like that. This competitor is determined not to let anything or anyone stop them from competing. Well, they're definitely still going, no matter how unwise. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. Certainly a very dramatic start to this contest. Just goes to show how intense this match is going to be. Yeah, clearly this fight has been a long time coming, and now there is no more holding back. High-risk territory for Natalia. Blast off! And she doesn't connect. And it's Natalya with the reversal. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. Oh, there it is, yep. She's fighting desperately. Hip tosses her way out of the hole. Oh, holding the wrist and nice. absolutely punishing. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Turns it around. Sole of foot meets the stomach. Oh, brutal forearm. Oh, oh my God, in the spine. That'll make your legs go numb. You can't prepare your face for that. If Oscar wants to walk out the winner in this one, what do you think we need to see from her inside the ring? I think she needs to be unpredictable with her attacks. Asuka has a talent for catching her opponents unprepared with creative strikes. So unique offense could be what gets Asuka the victory. She's calling for it. A close body from the middle rope. Will this be enough? And she kicks out at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. You can feel the tables beginning to turn. A series of clotheslines, and their opponent is rocked. We don't often see Oscar in this position. Yeah, and that he's proven hard to keep up with. Oh, leg lariat. Absolute hatred boiling over in this one. This continues to be personal, not just professional. You're right, Cole. Sure, either side would love to beat the other in competition, but this is more about beating them down physically and mentally. Any time, any place, damn the consequences. Check your face after that one. Things taking a turn for her now. Oh, look at... This is not going to be good! Relentless. the elbow. She avoids the attack completely. Up and down. What a slam. Able to reverse that one. Uh, she's trying. Trying to create space. 
Matches the arm into a takedown. Armbar gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. Drops the hammer. Hoping to end it here. Almost ended it there. What a match. And Asuka is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Natalia with Natty by nature. She covers for the pin. She gets the shoulder up. She just will not go away. The boat, Natalia, doing what she does best. Nice job getting to the ropes. And when you're in that position, you have no other choice. Ooh, look at her answering back. How do these women have anything left? I have no idea. But there is no way you can expect them to keep going much longer. We're at a vital state. Taking flight. Body splash. Cover. Two count. And a kick out at two. What? What? Oh, oh, what do you say? That This is amazing. What a match. Natalia's locked in the crosshairs now. Arm ringer. Oh, there it is. The Oscar lock is in. Tap oh. out and call it a night. This is exclusive. And Oscar wins. This is one of the most complete competitors in the history of sports entertainment. AJ Styles. One of the most influential competitors of this generation. The following contest is scheduled for one thought. Making his way to the ring. Yes, it is, Saxton. Whoa, jump-starting the action. That is some unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, give me a break, Saxton. And the referee is motioning for these superstars to get into the ring where this match belongs. I'm not sure there's any reasoning with them at this point. Close fist connects. Countered it just in time. <laughs> Setting him up here. Up in the suplex. Oh, no. No. Oh, that breaker. Something AJ Styles has to utilize if he wants to win this match is his incredible agility. The way AJ can fly around the ring can leave opponents stunned and create offensive openings for him. I have to agree, staying agile and pushing the pace would be in AJ's favor here. Sheamus asking the WWE Universe, are you not entertained? Ooh, kick right to the gut. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary. Quick cover from Sheamus. And only a one count. Too soon. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. Reverse D. Are you kidding me? AJ on the receiving end. First a knife edge chop and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Great 
reversal. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Sheamus anticipated that one. Quick strike to the lower body. Kick to the gut creates separation. Hooked up. Oh, shit breaker. And Sheamus having the fight brought right to him there. Yep. Styles, Styles rolls through. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. And Zagiri finds its mark. Returning to the ring now. Big punch finds its mark. Back and forth we go. That did not look good for AJ, and yeah, he's busted open now. Ooh. High impressive counter. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Oh, ouch. What impressive deterrent. Rapid fire shots. Now the superstar backing down. Each exchange just sapping the energy for Oh, jeez. Looking absolutely wrong. Uh-oh, picked out of midair. Styles clash, he hits it. That could be Sheamus' demise. Oh, he kicked out. What a kick out. This is unbelievable resolve being shown by the coach of war. And now AJ has to recalibrate, has to gather himself again. Big knee to the midsection. And he barely evades. Styles gets him back. Oh, that's that's down. Line. It's cinched in. This could be over. It's not in. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Reversal no. catches Sheamus there. Climbing up top. He's got big. From the top. Oh, just completely off target there. Oh, no. Decided to take a leap of faith and paid the price. Carefully placed stop to the arm. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Oh, no. Oh, I stopped right to the gut. Showing up their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. Shifts it back onto him. Canadian back. Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Springboard moonsault, faithful into the reverse DDT. AJ Styles rolls through. Here it comes. Styles has the calf crusher. Styles has the calf crusher. This is absolutely agonizing. Will Styles? Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Styles is looking to end this thing. If this lands, it's over. There it is. He hits it. Styles clash. Did they take it off it? Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Sheamus couldn't get it done tonight. In the end, AJ Styles reigns supreme. Phenomenal. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE.
Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. One thing he can't do, guys, is try to outthink the Apex Predator. You're right. It simply can't be done. This superstar needs to rely on physical ability. The WWE's Apex Predator is on the hunt. You would be hard-pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. He is about to stand face to face with European excellence personified. Introducing the challenger from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gontar! And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gontar! The Intercontinental Championship, one of the most coveted titles in all of WWE. Plenty of battles waged over the Intercontinental Championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of this business. This match could easily be history in the making. Ooh! Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring.
after that attack on the apron. There is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. Tossed back into the ring. Randy Orton feeding off this electric crowd. Oh, good night. Sorry. An elbow will break that up. got surprised there into the corner this can't be good and for the moment Gunther gets knocked down a peg That's a there's the pin title on the line gets his shoulder up before the two count it'll take more than that to hold him down trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped and a series of vicious stomps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. We've seen how dangerous the inherent abilities of Randy Orton have been through the years. But what we don't see right away is how Randy Orton has evolved those abilities. He's surpassed anything inherited, and he's brought a whole new level to his attack plan. I bet we see some of that tonight. Rip it at the eyes. And the challenger... The Viper launches his opponent with an exploder. And it had to have taken maximum effort to lift their opponent like that. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Big hammer connects. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, precision knee drop. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And he gets set back into the ring. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning Uranagi. Into the pin attempt. He's far from finished. Hits him with the counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Muscles up there, a pole. Gonna see a new champ. Two. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Guys, I thought we were getting a new champion there. <laughs> well, we might see a new champ here tonight. Don't put the cart before the horse. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing it. Okay. Oh, the champ has this one in hand now. Whitney Lariat. 
Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Able to avoid any harm there. Pulled in for a belly to belly. The champ looking out of sorts. Gunther with steely resolve to do that kind of damage. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Kick out after one from the champion. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Gunther has flight in mind. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Oh, well, look out. Dive front drop kick. Clawing the face. Is this necessary? Ripping at the eyes. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Up high. All oh, the way crashing down. That's the astonishingly crushing offense we've come to expect from Gunther. I mean, you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, no, that's a lot of blood now coming from Orton's head. Gunther stringing together some impressive offense right now. Orton's being kept in check. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. The vicious Gunther building up that energy. Things are not going to be pretty. Excellent. The ring general showing off his power. Power bomb. The title might change hands. There's two. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they're truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. And Guther definitely thought that would put him down. I can't imagine he's going to take it easy on him after such a defiant kick out. The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Planning on what to do next. You can't prepare your face for that. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. Gunther's doing whatever he wants, because he can. Gunther gets stymied. Randy looking to get back in this. He got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Playing it up for the WWE Universe. But champions need to finish the job. Makes the cover. Wait, only two. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. Orton a bit dismayed, but we know the Viper is adept at remaining on the offensive. of counter if this works it could change the course of them from the top he's got the answer for that one oh and close line to follow lots of potential for injury here at ringside these superstars better be careful the floor the barricades our table none of these things are fun to collide with just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. Bash straight into the post on the outside. The referee counting, urging them to get in the ring. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stop. 
Orton measuring him. A knee smash. Hunter fighting an opening. Record into the lariat. Gunther with his opponent all the way back, delivering a powerbomb. The champ's eyes look great. 